What's going on everyone? Welcome to my Pi 4 desktop. Today we're going to go ahead, we're going to learn uh, a few things. Lately I've been using the Raspberry Pi 4 as my main desktop and I thought, you know what, why not put a few tutorials together of how I got things set up and maybe uh, you might learn something. In today's episode, what we will be doing is we'll be looking at how to set up your Raspberry Pi to boot off of your SSD drive. And this is great because you gain a ton of uh, performance boost when you do that. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did to do it. I'll give you some examples. I'll show you. Now I've already done it on this unit so I'll just have to explain kind of around it and also posted below in the video you will see a link to my Element 14 blog post about it as well so you can follow along on the steps there as well. Uh, that's the only downfall of me uh, doing it live on my Raspberry Pi is because that's what I'm using. My desktop computer over to the left of me is not being used anymore. I've gone the last week without uh, turning it on. I do miss a couple programs, but I'm finding alternatives throughout the process. Without further ado, let's go ahead, let's crack into this. The first thing you're going to want to do is, I need to move that out of the way here, so the first thing you're going to really want to do is you're going to want to head over to raspberrypi.org, go to the download section, grab your copy of Buster. So once you get your download, you're going to install a program like Etcher or, or whatever to burn your image for Buster onto your SD card. Now you can use a really small SD card. You don't need a huge one. You can download, I do believe, the light version of Buster. It's fairly small. Just as a backup, I can copy this working drive onto that SD card if I want to as well, just to kind of have a working backup. That way, if anything happens to my S SD drive, I'm able to actually take the backup from my SD card and be able to transfer it over onto a new one. Once you have Buster installed, you're going to boot up your Raspberry Pi for the first time and you're going to run your sudo, sudo apt-get update and upgrade get everything kind of where you want it and you can even install your other applications you want because maybe you want to do what i'm doing where you're using it as a backup so my ssd card is actually my backup drive so i can back up my system onto that whenever i want to and then i can if i need to i can just remove the ssd drive and away i go now you have your ssd drive plugged into your Raspberry Pi, the next step would be to copying everything from the SD card over to the SSD drive. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We're just going to go to the Pi menu here. We're going to go to accessories and we're going to go to this guy here, to SD card copier. And um, yeah, you can, this is where I would go now to back up my drive to my SD card. So in this part here, uh, we're going to go to copy from de device is going to be my SD card. And then I'm going to copy it to, well, it, uh, it only gives me the one option, but when you plug your, your hard drive in for the first time, you're going to have that there. It's because I'm using it right now uh, that I can't select it, but I can select it here to back up to uh, my 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 uh, SD card. Sorry, it should look something like that. And like I said, at the the copy to device, this will be your hard drive, and it should be detected. And then once you do that, all you're going to do is click on this to make new UUIDs uh, on the copy. And this is just going to help with configuring the directories once we open up terminal here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up terminal. So after you're done copying that onto your hard drive, we're going to open up terminal. So we're control alt and T. All we're going to type is sudo blkid, hit enter. Now it's going to list all of our drives here. Now that we have these numbers here, I'm going to go control alt T. I'm going to open up another window here. Basically, I'm just going to type sudo uh, cp forward slash boot 
forward slash cmd line dot txt and we're going to copy that the, the cp means copy and we're just going to copy and make a backup of it so forward slash boot forward slash cmd line dot txt dot back and then we'll go ahead and press enter on that and once we do that now I'm just going to delete that uh, we're just going to type sudo nano uh, boot uh, command line text and it will bring us to here and I'm going to show you what we need to edit here so when we first load it up we need the root fs uh, uuid for the SSD drive or external drive or whatever drive you're using. It doesn't have to be an SSD drive. It could be a mechanical drive, whatever you want. As you can see here, I have mine changed. This is the one uh, that we're gonna want here. So if I go over here, so DE0. And if I go up top here, so SDA2 is the one, this is my uh, hard drive. Let me just double check that. So if we go from here. Okay, yeah, so SDA, you can see here, is my my uh, SSD drive. And then the MMCBLK0 is my SS, or SD card. The next step would be to take the drive here. So we want the root. So look for the label equals root FS. And then we're going to go all the way over to uh, UUID root equals. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this 6C19BE or BDEO0-02. And that will give us our root drive for that. And then we don't want this boot one. If you put that one in, chances are you're going to have to plug your SD card back into your computer and change the command line text to uh, through your computer to be able to do that. And then just double check and make sure that right over here you have the proper root FS type as being ext4 which we do have here your numbers probably will or i can guarantee will not be the same as mine right here before uh this would have been this number here this 4dc86971-2 that's what would have been here when i first started it up and this is what i had to change it to after that uh yeah just hit Control X and then hit Y and then enter uh, sudo reboot in here. Once uh, you've selected uh, to save that that file, then the next thing that we would want to do to just double check to make sure that we are actually on the uh, SSD drive or the mechanical drive would be to just open up your file manager here and then if we look down in the bottom right we can actually see that we have connected to it correctly so now there you go you're all connected I tried to make this a little bit shorter it's like I said it's really hard for me to kind of guide when I'm actually working on the the Pi if I was on another computer and had a fresh Pi and SD card and that and I did the overhead cam and showed you how to do everything but it's pretty basic pretty simple I think you guys can figure that out if not like I said I got the all the commands everything in the description below on my blog post on element 14 if you like this video make sure to hit that thumbs up and if you guys can hit that subscribe button would help me out a lot all my stuff will be done on here uh, I'm gonna try to stay away from my main computer as much as possible so far a week without my main PC running a nice low wattage Raspberry Pi 4 versus my power hungry computer is awesome thank you everyone for watching you have a wonderful day a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?